Crews are working to keep the roads as safe as possible ahead of that storm overnight tonight and to tomorrow. Dave Parker with the Arkansas Department of Transportation joining us live from Little Rock. Thanks for being with us, Dave. What kind of preparations are being done ahead of time? Uh, we have already been out pre-treating the higher elevation bridges and overpasses there in the River Valley in northwest Arkansas. Uh, we know it's going to rain heavier late tonight and early Friday morning, but even so, uh, we feel like the brine is going to help out a little bit and get a little bit of that first layer down uh, for Friday morning. The uh, the flash freeze is a concern. It's going to temperature drop, you know, a good 15, 20 degrees in a matter of uh, 90 minutes tomorrow morning. So we're aware of that. That's why we're going to go ahead and get those uh, trouble spots taken care of uh, tonight, at least the first run of it. And we'll have crews coming in 5, 6 a.m. in the morning to to keep at it. So we've got crews working overnight. That's good to hear because we know a lot of people just have to get out on the roads. Is there a point where it is so cold that maybe these road treatments just won't work? Yeah, we're going to hit that point. It's going to be very difficult. The next 72 hours, three, four days going to be very challenging. We'll use salt, brine, our, our kind of our backbone of what we use uh, tonight, tomorrow. But once temperatures reach about 20 degrees, which we're going to get in the River Valley and Northwest easily on Sunday, uh, we'll switch to beet juice, which will mix that beet juice in with the salt brine. It creates a super brine. It lowers the freezing temperature even more. If it gets even colder, which it probably will, single digits, uh, we're talking some crazy temperatures here, we'll add calcium chloride, liquid calcium chloride, a one, two, three punch. Uh, that's the only way we're going to be able to handle these cold temperatures. That's our biggest enemy, really, is the temperature, not so much the snowfall, even those totals look pretty impressive. Yeah, that's a good point. It's going to be really cold out there. And if roads do end up getting bad, though, what message do you have for any drivers who just have to get out there on the roads? Uh, you know, as I said earlier, uh, take it easy, take it slow. I mean, know where you're going. Uh, make sure your car is, is, is prepared, you know, fully gassed. Your car, your phone is charged. You have supplies. You know, we've seen it already in northwest Arkansas. Some accidents there near the Bobby Hopper where we have people stuck in traffic a few hours. Think about what you would need if you're stuck for two, three, four hours. But now it's going to be about five degrees, even colder. So factor that in. Be prepared. Yeah, have those safety kits handy, a blanket, some snacks, keep that gas tank full. All of these tips, of course, available for you on KNWA.com. Dave Parker with the Arkansas Department of Transportation. Thanks for your time, Dave.